as we know that the lungs are a pair of respiratory organs which is situated in the thoracic cavity. So, here in this specimen you are seeing the right and left lungs and here is the trachea. So, here you can see the trachea which is dividing into right and left primary bronchus and the space between two lungs is known as the mediastinum. Your respiratory organs again they are situated on either side of the mediastinum and each lungs are connected to the trachea by means of primary bronchus. And you know that the lungs are covered by a serous membrane that is known as the pleura and the pleura is double laid structures. And I told you we have mainly uh, two surfaces are there is a mediastinal surface and the costal surface. So here we have the costal surface. This pleura which is related to this costal surface is called costal pleura and the pleura which is which covers the mediastinal surface is known as the mediastinal pleura. Let us demonstrate the lungs. You know, lungs are a conical shaped structures having an apex and a base. Okay. So, first actually when we describe an organ, first thing you have to hold the structure in anatomical position. So, for that you have to identify the parts of the lung. So, here we have an apex which is conical which is directed upwards and there is a base. This is the base of the lung. If you see the base of the lung, it is concave in shape and it is resting on the diaphragm. On the right side, it is the base of the lung is separated from the abdominal cavity by the diaphragm. In the abdominal cavity is related to the right lobe of the liver but on the left side it is related to the left lobe of the liver, fundus of the stomach and the spleen. Now let us see the borders and surfaces. Now you know here we have the apex and here is a base and there is an anterior border and there is a posterior border. So, here we have an anterior border and here is the posterior border. How to distinguish the anterior and posterior border? If we see the anterior border which is thin and the posterior border is somewhat rounded. So, distinguish the anterior thin and the posterior rounded border and there is an inferior border. Okay. So, here we have an inferior border. This border is known as the inferior border. Now, you can see the inferior border. Okay. Now, how to hold the structure in anatomical position? First, look for the apex and the base and the anterior border is directed forwards and here we have the posterior border. Okay. Now, anterior border is directed forwards and medially, forwards and medially whereas a posterior border you can see here. So, this is how you identify the, uh, the side of the lung and the anatomical position. And now, you know it is easily identified that this is the left lung. Okay. Now, look at its surfaces. It has got two surfaces there is a surface directed medially and you know medially we have the mediastinum and this surface which is related to the mediastinum is known as the mediastinal surfaces mediastinal surface and this there is an external surface this external surface is related to the ribs and costal cartilages that is why it is known as the costal surface if you look at the costal surface you can see there are some impressions are there these are the impressions of ribs and they are the costal impressions costal impressions Okay. Now, I am having both the right and left lung. Okay. You can see that this here we have the left lung and here is the right lung. Okay. And here if we uh, look at this specimen, we can see that the right lung is divided into three lobes by two fissures. There is a, an oblique fissure you can see, there is a horizontal fissure. This horizontal fissure you can see here and there is an oblique fissure. And whereas on the left lung there is a single oblique fissure, single oblique fissure. Okay, that is why on the right side and or the right lower. lung has got three lobes. There, upper, middle. Whereas on the left lung we have there is only single fissure, that is oblique fissure, which divide the left lung into and a upper and lower lobe, upper and lower lobe. Okay, so now you know the. What are the points to identify the anatomical position? First look at the apex and base. Okay. Now look for the anterior thin border, then the rounded posterior border. Okay. And now the third one look for the fissures and lobes. Okay. There is a horizontal fissure and oblique fissure on the right lung. Two fissures divide the right lung into three lobes, upper, middle and lower lobe. But on the left lung there is a single fissure which divide the lungs into upper and lower lobe. Now, <clears throat> now look at the medial surface or the mediastinal surface of the lung. Okay, let us compare both the surfaces. So here you are seeing the right lung and the left lung. 
okay the hole is the media channel surface the whole of the media channel surface is divided into two okay then in anterior part which is the media channel surface or the uh, which is related to the media channel proper so this area is related to the vertebra thoracic vertebra and the intervertebral disc thoracic vertebra intervertebral disc so the whole of the medial surface is divided into media channel surface anteriorly and there is a vertebral surface there is a vertebral surface which is related to the vertebral column now what are the structures related to the media channel surface of the right and left lungs okay we start with the right you know this lungs are situated on either side of the media channel and the media channel is the place where the heart and pericardium is situated okay so here if we see the media channel surface of the right lung you can see there is a large impression so that large impression is for the right atrium this is the right atrial impression right atrial impression okay on the right lung you know the right atrium receives two main blood vessels that is the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava so here just above the impression of the right atrium there is a is the area where the superior vena cava is related superior vena this is the superior vena cava impression the same way on the lower part posto inferior to the cardiac impression of the right atrium there is a small sulcus that is for the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava remember so this is the this deep area is related to the right atrium and area above the right atrium posto superiorly there is a superior vena cava and the posto inferiorly there is the inferior vena cava is related this is the impression for the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava now at the media channel surface there is a uh, a, a structure over here you can see and this part is known as a root of lung root of lung so how will you define the root of lung root of lung is a part of the lungs where the structures goes in and out of the lung or it also known as a hilum of the lung you know some structures are going inside like the primary bronchus is going inside and from here some blood vessels are coming out so this structure on either side this is known as the root of lung root of lung structures fill vessels some blood lymphatics lymph nodes and how to identify the structures just now just feel the structures present over here okay if you feel you can see that there is a hard structure over here this hard structure is is the primary bronchus you now let us see the root of lungs you know the root of lung it is present on the media channel surface of the lungs where you can see the structures goes in and out of the lungs okay and the structures mainly we have to identify three structures that is a bronchus pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein okay how to identify these structures so here we have the right lung and this is the left lung okay on the right lung you can see identify the bronchus okay by the cartilage we can identify the bronchus so here here we have the bronchus then we have the pulmonary artery and here is the pulmonary vein thin pulmonary veins okay so on the right side you can see the primary bronchus is divided into two epithelial and hypothelial so here we have this is a epithelial means above the artery epithelial bronchus this is a hypothelial bronchus here we have the pulmonary artery and we have the pulmonary vein again on the right side we have epithelial bronchus hypothelial bronchus we have the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein on the left side we have again artery bronchus and vein okay we have artery then we have the bronchus and there is the pulmonary vein okay structures at the root of lung above downwards okay above downwards we have the bronchus that is epithelial bronchus then we have the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary veins but on the left side the structures are above we can see the artery pulmonary artery then comes a bronchus and finally in below we have the pulmonary vein what are the structures or the relations of the media channel so i only mentioned the cardiac impression with the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava just behind this superior vena cava we have the impression of the trachea we have here it is trachea is related and behind we have the impression of the esophagus so esophagus is related over here so in front of the esophagus there is a trachea is related in front of the trachea there is the superior vena cava superior vena cava you can see i told you this is a root of lung here we have the root of lung just above the root of lung there is a small sulcus structure you can see that is the impression of azygous vein you know on the right side azygous vein opens into superior vena cava so this impression is for the azygous vein azygous vein 
So, these are the structures related to the mediastinal surface of the right lung, right lung. Now, let us see the structures related to the mediastinal surface of the left lung. So, here we have the root of lung, okay above and behind the root of lung above and behind the root of lung there is a iota so here we have the arch of iota and this is a descending thoracic iota descending thoracic iota so just above the impression of the arch of iota you can see two more impressions one is here another one is here okay so the one which the is present over here and in that is the impression of there is the, the uh, of left common carotid Just behind that, there is the impression of the trachea, and behind the impression of the trachea, here is the esophageal impression. Esophageal impression. Again, so here again we have the root of lung, and there is a deep fossa. Okay, that is related to the left ventricle. Left ventricle. Okay, onto the left lung, the left ventricle is related. Onto the right lung, there is a right atrium is related. Right atrium is related. Another feature of the left lung is if you look at the anterior border okay anterior border of the left lung at the lower part there is a tongue shaped presangula that means the anterior border of the left lung is not continuous okay so below at, at the lower part there is a tongue shaped projection that is known as a lingula